You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off extorting the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, off him and out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> There. Look who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> well, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taken over the warehouse in River Row, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent likes between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You got to pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. you <laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't mean no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that's got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. Pin 
You know, I really thought I could make this work. Guess you were wrong. Send whoever you can to Barclay Mills. I ain't letting this place go. You can count on me, lad. And I'm hoping I can count on you to return the favor with the next part of the city. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. You're not what I expected. This was a mistake. I don't want any trouble. Someone told me you work at the dump, that you might have information for me. Now, your name's Maria, right? Mm-hmm. Maria Bava. I've only been at the dump a couple of months. Accounts receivable. I know. Glamorous. Paul Simmons runs the place. Everybody calls him Puppy, though. You've got to stop him. Stop him from doing what? Dumping waste in the bay, extorting drivers from other garbage companies, but that's... That's not the worst thing they're doing, is it? Mister... They're killing people. Puppy... <sighs> Mr. Simmons doesn't know how to keep his boys down on the phone. But he was arguing with one of the cleaners. Kept saying how they'd been paid to get rid of somebody. You know when these cleaners will be around? No. But some of the other guys who work for the dump might. I'll chase down information on these cleaners, along with the rest of the dump's business. It's gonna be all right, Maria. You did the right thing. I want to know what you assholes are doing at the dump. After what you did, those twisted motherfuckers are hunting your ass down. Ain't no way you can shake them. Your ass is mine now. Our city, Major General Keith Wang, was killed yesterday. <laughs> oh! Also lost with three of his staff. Mine is like swinging in trees. Is that true? That <laughs> Can't kill all of them. Hell yeah! Get down the man! 
Poppy, I mean, Mr. Simmons let me go today. You sound happy about it. Apparently, they're having trouble with the business and he can't afford to pay me. But truth be told, I'm glad to be out of there, away from that place. Is Puppy at the dump now? Yeah, why? <gasps> what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill him? All depends on Puppy. I'll be seeing you, Maria. <clears throat> I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. Okay, but don't be fucking with me now. This territory has been promised to me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna shot you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. <sighs> All right. Tile this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're a mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. <sighs> Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me.
You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. We should get moving. I hear Looks the like it's a little come. late for that. Deal's a deal. I don't know when I'm stuck in Let's go. Prison, and time keeps dragging on. Friends of yours, pussy ass motherfuckers used to watch that train keep rolling. Oh, yeah, you go, fuck you. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno. Watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. Shit, old rice paddy's beautiful. And my side grab a one-way ticket. But for me, it don't get up. Guess you ain't ever been to old
Not be. Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? Nah, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Choo-choo! <laughs> Fuck you, you goddamn cockroaches! <laughs> Dropping. I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. You know Sammy was proud as hell of you, right? Not just for the wartime shit, but for the way you fought through life before you came to him. How you watched over Ellis, and how you helped with Perla when she was sick. He admired you. And don't you ever forget it. Fucking Sal ain't half the man Sammy was. Yeah. 
This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. Take a load off, brother. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. All I see is myself do the dirty work. Like how I'm securing both rockets for you now. But when it comes to doling out the auction, you seem to forget my fucking name. Correct this now, lad. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. Maybe I missed the call or something, but I didn't even know you were working that part of the city. Throw a cripple a bone, lassie. This turf's going to the Irish. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. You're smarter than your goddamn luck, lad. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire Bay. But twice in a row now, you cut me out. Just keep in mind, you do that to your own detriment. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. Right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted, God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to were other entitled pricks. So who are you going to go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. Hey, you know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. <laughs> 